When I heard a man, I assumed it was an elderly man. She so Found by a woman whose heart desires to have children. Male, female, but could only have female. I am from a descendant of what you call witches, but originally a witness from heaven to the greatness of the creator. Witches? As in witchcraft? The strain in your voice gives you way. You have anything traditional, uncommon, mysterious, basically what you have no understanding of. I do not have a problem with what anybody chooses to believe in. But beyond an unseen God, it's what baffles me. If man knew all, understood all, believed all, and had the capacity to do all, Immortals would have become gods to gods to themselves. You have blood in your hands. Blood? I do not understand. Not you. Your ancestors. You carry a curse you know nothing of, but yours to carry. A curse? From who? A curse plays on the bloodline of kings. Your daughter is plagued with an ailment she know nothing of. Yes. But I did not tell you anything. <laughs> what is hidden? What is known? Do you not know that a day will break tomorrow? And a night afterward? You only know what you should know. And I what I should. Elderly one, what do we do? The elephant does not seek a path in the jungle. It creates its own. Show us a path. Is she your first daughter? Yes, she is. <laughs> the plague that plagued your daughter would return when its market day breaks and when its season is due and her cycle is completed. She would return to the afterlife. That's it. So you still want to marry that girl? I don't have a reason not to. You have a reason not to. A girl whose lifespan is not as short. A girl who chose a day in a man to die and to awake. I mean, a girl who no one knows what's wrong with her. And you come here to tell me you have no reason not to. Jasmine, I'm your elder sister. I don't want anything to happen to you just because of that girl. I don't understand you. Come in what sense? Don't play the naive ticket with me. You and I know very well that whatever is happening to that girl is not normal. So tell me, what is unnaturally about what's happening to her? There is no law that says you should marry that girl. You owe her nothing. I owe her everything for giving her golden heart to me. I won't just walk away in a mere sign of trouble. I mean, that's not true love. That's not true love. Stupidity. Nancy! Did I hear you say stupidity? Yes, you did. Eh? Ah, okay. So tell me. What will you call marrying a man that your entire family rejected? A man that the whole family never supported you. You stood still. You fought. You needed support. I supported you. Now tell me. Do you call that stupidity? Don't insult me, Justin. Don't. I'm not insulting you, sis. Like the way you had faith in him. The same way I had faith in her. And nothing no one says is going to change my mind. Excuse me. Justin! Dad? Witchcraft. I said it. But nobody will listen. Jesus Christ, Jemima, will you shut up? What did you say? Did I tell you people I see witchcraft in all this? Now that has confirmed it. Jemima, will you keep quiet? You don't talk like that. Dad, why does she want to see me? Sincerely, my daughter, I do not know. All she did was ask to see you. When I asked why, she said, the story is
is never told without the bearer of the story. And that, for you to be healed, it has to be through you. Father, I'm a Christian. I can't engage in juju or do anything diabolical. I can't worship any other god all in the name of seeking for healing. And if this is a test of faith for me, then so be it. No one is asking me to worship any thing. You just heard that saying there's, there's a woman who is referred to as a man and supposedly an offspring of witchcraft. How then do you want your story to be told, Mom? I want you to be free. You want the best for you, my dear. I'm sorry. I can't engage in this. I can't. I'm sorry. Everything she said. True. A lot of things have made our homes unbearable to those outside the physical. So, Father, you believe everything the woman said to my husband? Yes, I do. I had a visitation the last time in the dark house of darkness. A lot of things have been hidden. It must be unraveled if your daughter must be delivered. So please, Father, what do we do? Your Majesty, we pray. We pray? Before the earth was created, you have always been, we have always been. Dominions we were given, darker our hearts became when men tried to be God. Grief our hearts swallowed when men chose war instead of peace. Take was all the new. Witches we were called, though witnesses we have always been. So what seek you, mother? Why do you seek to drain the ocean that men turned into a river and turned into, into a creek? Do we seek for what is undue to ask? Does a spirit strive without its supplicants? Its obeisance, not food for the gods. If the spirit loses its efficacy, then it's of no use for the spirit which supposedly guide. So tell me, mother, why has the absence of the spirit caused you so much pain? You seek to tell the history of death when you've never embraced the earth. So how many more will be enough to suit the pain you felt? I have no heart. It has been broken by mankind. I have no soul. It has been swallowed by anguish. Humanity has failed itself. What is mine is mine. Move away, else the earth will feed on your carcass. How many more will be enough to suit the pain you felt? There are no many more days nor months. Just keep away from what's mine. And so you place a curse upon the witnesses of the earth with your hateful heart. So shall it be. Mankind has always been ungrateful. So shall their days be. <laughs> you are crazy. I mean, you've totally lost it. Wow. I'm serious. Did you shut your eyes to have me? I won't be sure because you will certainly be behind bars until a medical state of mind is being ascertained by the royal medical staff. No, I mean, how can you just get up and walk into the palace and demand to see the queen as who? As the one the princess is madly in love with. I mean, are you giving a sweet? Anybody choose my queen, my king. Shame on you. <laughs> You know I love you, right? And I love you more. I love you. You called the locust to a fist. And yet you accused it of ravaging that which it cherished. Mine it took. And yours, I will take with relish. Jasmine! Hey! 
Jasmine. Jasmine. How is she? As usual. Nothing anybody knows. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. She'll be fine. Christ is the light. In the light, the children of the Almighty dwell. What do you know about your heritage? I don't understand. What do you mean about my heritage? I mean, the kinship of this kingdom. Kinship of this kingdom? The kinship of this kingdom. I was told my great-grandfather was the first from this family to ascend the throne of his kingdom. When he died, my grandfather, for reasons not explained, refused to ascend the throne. <coughs> Subsequently, the throne was moved to another family. Years later, the king from that family died mysteriously. And the throne was given back to my family. My father, just like his late father did, refused the throne without telling us anything. I was barely 10 years when I was sent overseas to study. Many years later, I learned two families presented kings. They also died mysteriously. 35 years later, I came back to bury my late father. When I came, people from this community came calling. They wanted me to be their king, but I refused. After the burial, my family and I decided to leave to start a new life. But groups from this community came begging that I should ascend the throne. I finally accepted. Why did you accept? Father, why are you making me think you already know what I want to say? I only know what you told me. Why did you say yes? Hmm. After the burial of my father, it was as if a burden was placed on me. I saw myself wearing a crown, sitting on a throne. But each time I lift this crown, I see a legion of women crying shouting in anguish in my dreams but these dreams or should i say nightmares continued every day for several years until i accepted this crown i never thought of anything till now father do you think it's connected to this Everything is connected. Betrayed by my mind, you can't be salvation. You 
We knew him and he knew us before the beginning of time. What do you want? We seek nothing. What is ours is ours. I have nothing that belongs to you. I'm light and I have no word with darkness. What is light? What is darkness? Like a suckling child, your heart was made by the creator. There is every darkness in the light of men, yours to choose. You confuse me. What exactly do you want? You. Never. I rebuke you. Rebuke, ah! you say. Did God so hate in the heart of men that has brought these tribulations to you? You chose this path out of your own free will and you must fulfill it your own free will. Else, you will cry blood. <laughs> <laughs> 